Okay, so welcome back to some more MX versus ATV All Out. Today we are going to be talking about the new faster AI that is inbound for MX versus ATV All Out in the next patch that they are going to be releasing. Now, they haven't actually said when the patch will release. I do believe they said they're still in testing and they'd have uh, more information in the coming days, coming weeks, something like that. So, along with this patch, though, I think it's worth noting that there is going to be night riding at the goat farm. Well, at least at the goat farm for sure because they've posted some screenshots of it as well as some fog. So I'm not sure if fog is going to be like a separate thing or if fog's just going to be the way it is at nighttime or what tracks it's all going to be for. But for sure, the goat farm is in this patch with the the faster AI. And, and that's what I'm most excited for. I mean, there's other various bug fixes and optimization and blah, 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 blah. But for me, the most interesting thing is the faster AI because I play on PC. Someone, some people ask me, they're like, I can't tell. What do you play on? Xbox, PlayStation, PC? I play on everything, but mostly I play on play on PC. Uh, that's just what I prefer to play on. Plus, this game for me is ten times better on PC. It doesn't it doesn't have that it doesn't lag. It, it runs really smooth, and I think it looks really good. So on PC, I really enjoy the game. On console, I I still like the game, but I just it just the performance isn't where it is on PC. It's not not really even close. So hard for me to go back and forth and if I live stream to play on PlayStation because of that but faster AI so I think they have a long ways to go okay so what I wanted to do was just kind of run a few races a few short races against the AI just to show that hey I'm a pretty average player at the game and you know I don't really it's not like I sat here and learned the track to the the best it could be learned we still had a bunch of mistakes I think we even crashed a couple times and and this was one of this is the newest one of the newest tracks that have been added to the game so basically that's what I was trying to show that even though you don't know the tracks that good if you're just you don't even have to be super good at the game to just destroy them I mean we're only on lap two of three and we already have a 20 second lead now it could be better or worse depending on how good you are again but uh, just showing you that an average player can just destroy them so I don't know it's gonna be I think it's gonna be really difficult for them to increase the speed of the AI AI enough to to compete I mean this is on all-time difficulty and again average player here and I mean I'm curious for let's think back so if you think back to all the MX games that you've ever played what game had the absolute toughest AI that you've ever had to race against I mean I'm not really sure I think if I had to say what I guess if I had to say what game I think had the toughest AI, I think Untamed would have been up there for sure because Untamed have a, had a Untamed was just kind of different. It had first of all, I think it had like ten different difficulty settings uh, between like Legendary and All Time. I, th I still think All Time was the highest difficulty setting, but it had a bunch of different difficulty settings. And I remember All Time, and I still go back to that game and sometimes play it on the channel. I remember All Time difficulty being like insane super tough and you could do it you could still win but it wasn't easy even after playing the game a bunch I never thought all-time difficulty was really that easy I always thought it was difficult and going back to the game now you know if I try to play on a higher difficulty I find myself playing on legendary more often than all time because I know I don't have a chance even at winning on all time at least with legendary it was difficult so I think legendary, uh, legendary difficulty and all-time difficulty in MX versus ATV Untamed was probably for me some of the toughest AI I've ever raced against. Now I know a lot of people say that say that uh, the realistic difficulty and in, in something like Milestones games are are super easy. I think they're not as easy as people say they are. Okay, I'm not saying that they're super tough and that they are where they need to be, but I think if you're just a very casual player, very casual, okay, not, again, we, we say this a lot, but not for the elitists out there. I think if you're just a very casual type of player, I think they're actually pretty decent. I mean, yeah, I, I think in the 250 class, usually they were always pretty easy, but when you get to the 450 class, I thought they put up a fight sometimes, and if you gave them just like a small head start, you know, it added that a uh, little bit to where it wasn't that easy. Like here, we kind of 
we didn't get a really good start in the the final race on this video we get we give them actually like a 10 second head start not much but without even trying too hard it's just so easy to pass them and, and i'm not even 100 percent sure what you would have to do you know i don't know how to build ai in a in a game but i suppose you would just speed them up i mean if i was doing it maybe I don't know how you would do it. Just have them speed up out of the corner a bit faster. Maybe they could hit some of the bigger lines. I mean, the AI typically can't hit the the huge lines that that a player can. And I understand that they're not a player, but maybe have them speed up out of a corner a lot harder so they can hit those big lines and and whatnot. I think it's just mostly about the speed. I mean, we all would like to see the AI take better better line choice but that's just not always the case I think sometimes you just have to kind of pick and choose would you rather have them take better line choice more realistic line choice or would you rather have them be faster I think I I would just rather have them be straight up faster because yeah I mean a lot of people buy these games for the multiplayer and you know nowadays multiplayer games are just huge you know when I grew up multiplayer games weren't what they are today so for me I still enjoy playing against the AI and then in a situation like this where the AI is just stupid slow it's not it's it's not really that fun I mean yeah you can give them the head start but hey that gets kinda old and when we do that in videos a lot of people complain oh another thing I kinda wanna mention that uh, is a bit off topic is this husky here this 350 is like I haven't used this in a really long time and so there's been multiple patches and updates but this thing feels way different than anything else I was using first of all it feels a bit more floaty than anything else in the game like any of the other bikes it feels more floaty than any of them and it feels heavier I know I've mentioned this before on PC in general I think the bikes just feel heavier now that could just be personal preference or the way I feel about it I maybe it's not like that I I really don't know but all the bikes feel heavier this thing felt like really 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 heavy and like the rotation when you're trying to throw a whip or or whatever felt much slower so I don't know if that's just me or or what's going on but the 350 Husky on PC feels like way different so and I tried to use three different bikes and so that's why I uh, want to mention that because after using the the Honda the Husqvarna and the Yamaha here it it feels quite a bit different here we give them a, a pretty big lead and this is on a really really easy track where the AI doesn't really have to because the AI can case things and come up short and you know ruin a flow so I, I believe in Supercross it's probably a bit harder to program the AI, the AI to go faster but on a national track like this it doesn't really have much of anything on it you know we've talked about I think the I, I think the national tracks are good they're just not as good as I hoped they would be and I think the AI on a track like this should be really 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 okay no let's take that back I don't think they should be really really easy to make but I think that on a track like this the AI would be much easier to program to go faster than it would be on Supercross but I don't know maybe the way they program them in the game has to be the same for Supercross and for uh, Nationals I, I really don't know I just feel like if they made a straight national game like uh, like the MXGP games the AI should be easier to make go faster or program to go faster than it would be with Supercross I mean I don't know I'm just rambling off things on the top of my head and and whatnot but in, in this race I kind of gave him a head start so we can kind of see what the AI is doing and they do some really stupid stuff I mean I don't again I don't know how easy it is to program things but they just jump over the corner sometimes it's like they're going it's like they're going too fast and they can't slow themselves down I, I think in this corner coming up here they kind of just overshoot the corner and go off track and have all kinds of problems so I don't really know I'm curious that's why I'm really curious to see what this faster AI is gonna be like I like racing I think I never finished that thought because I got sidetracked but I grew up racing the AI mostly not against actual people and so I still enjoy it and I really wish that the AI was more fun to race I think doing the career or doing well it's not really the career but doing the series the campaign I guess and just doing races like this for videos and would be more fun but you know just for me to go race the AI the only thing I could do is give them this massive massive lead or 
or just see how often or how uh, much time we can win a race by. You know what I mean? So there's just no challenge. There's like zero challenge to racing the AI right now, and that's that's a problem. I think that's a big problem because I still think a, a majority. No, not a majority. I'm not gonna say that. I still think a lot of people really enjoy racing the AI instead of going online or going into multiplayer. Maybe they don't have a great internet connection, or maybe they just don't feel like it because. Multiplayer, as fun as it can be, is, is more stressful to deal with than just going out and burning off a, a few short races like this, racing against the AI. And if the AI was faster, I mean, it's kind of like racing your ghost. I think that's why I really appreciate the fact that ghost racing is in this game because you're racing against your own time. So you're pushing against that ghost, racing, like having something actually there to, to push you to that that faster time and the AI just can't do that and so I'm looking at past games that you know you could never really get that great time relying on the AI to be able to push you you either had to just do it by yourself or go into multiplayer and you know a lot of bad things can happen when you're getting into a battle you're bumping into each other and it just doesn't happen so yeah really curious to see this I, I think it could be great for the game and be a game changer if they do it right and can figure it out to I mean I don't have any suggestions because I don't know how to do it but if they can get it down right to where the AI is actually competitive to some degree maybe not for the best players out there but for average players I think that could uh, change the game quite a bit and, and add a more replay value to it instead of just relying on the the multiplayer which is important a huge part of the game but I think AI racing is still pretty important too so yeah, we're about done with this lap. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.